Hello, educators. Welcome to Analysis Thursday. I am Carla Boswell Lewis, Director of Strategic Educational Consultancy Services. I am a passionate, dedicated, and selfless educator on a mission to empower you, educators. On Sunday, I concluded a three part series on influencing students positively. I invite you to watch that video or those videos if you have not yet watched them. On Analysis Thursday, the goal is to analyze the actionable tips given on Strategy Sunday to clarify and continue to empower you. As you come to the end of the work week, how have you actionized these tips that were given to you on Sunday in helping you to align your students for success? The two tips that were shared on Sunday were being a positive role model and also being cognizant. On Analysis Thursday, I will be sharing with you two real life stories and allow you to analyze yourself as in how are you a role model? How are you being cognizant? And so educators, I am a dedicated and passionate educator today because of my basic school teacher. And let me tell you, I went to basic school at the age of two. And that teacher has left an indelible mark on me. Why? She was always neat, well-dressed, well-spoken. She was calm. She was collective. I've never, ever heard her raising her voice at anyone, no matter the mistake that you would have made. I've never heard her raise her voice. She took special interest in her students. She was a one-on-one -on -one teacher. So yes, she wrote on the board, but then she moved around individually to each student at their desk. She was also the teacher who instilled in me the habit of sharing your knowledge. So we would sit on the bench and we would share with another classmate. And if the classmate doesn't understand, it is fine if you help the classmate to understand. She had no problems with that. She was the teacher who went all out, above and beyond. Her classroom was literacy rich. Any little material that she could find to make it into an educational tool that will help us to understand the concept, that was my basic school teacher. I moved to all age school and my grades three and four teacher, she also left an indelible mark on me. She was always looking out for her students. She was always helping you along. If you didn't have the textbooks, that's fine. That's fine. Should always have an old textbook that you can borrow. Should always be photocopying. Her classroom was literacy rich and she was also rewarding students for positive behavior. I moved on to high school. And my home economics teacher in first form was always well-dressed, always neat, always going above and beyond to help us as students in the class to grasp the content. She was very creative. She would use songs, the poets, anything that she could get her hand to, she would use it to help us. She was always early for school, always early for class. She was well-spoken. And so, because of these traits that I saw in these teachers, it has brought me to the point wherein I am now an educator and I actionize that hidden curriculum that they brought across in the classroom. So, analyze yourself. Are you being that teacher to your students? How are you helping them as you demonstrate the hidden curriculum in being a positive role model? The second tip was being cognizant. And I'm going to be sharing with you a, a bad example. So when I went to high school, I had a teacher. And I wasn't from the popular schools in the town area. So I was from the rural area and they would say you are from country. And so when I got an assignment or I got an activity to do in class, and of course, I may have fumbled a little bit on it. I may not have done it to the best as how he would have expected or how the other students would have done it. He would refer to me as country girl. And so I felt bullied. I felt afraid. 
that that positive learning environment was not there and so i started to develop a dislike for the subject so much so that that was the only subject i did not pass at csec level why because the teacher was not aware he he was not able to relate to me being a country girl being a girl from a non-popular all age school not being able to understand readily some of the concepts that those students from the town school would have understood and so because of that i developed a hatred for the subject teachers educators are you being cognizant? Are you showing your students that you understand their context? Are you working with them? Are you helping them in the areas in which they are falling? They are falling down. Are you being that educator that guides your student that says them, listen, I understand where you're coming from. You you create that 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 that, that feeling that they want to participate and they want to do. Educators these two tips are from the hidden curriculum. How well are you actionizing them? Think about it. So far this week, were you a positive role model? Did you demonstrate being cognizant? If not, you have another day tomorrow, Friday, to demonstrate that. And remember, you're going to be continuing to practice these tips as you go along. It's not just a one hit wonder. It is something, it's going to become a part of you. It's going to be your habit for you to always be demonstrating these actionable tips in your classroom as you seek to motivate your students, to empower them to become the reflective practitioner and to align your students for success. If this video was beneficial to you or if you liked what you heard, go ahead and like the video. If you feel that there is a friend or educator who could use this type of information, go ahead and share the video. And if you want to get more videos with this kind of information, and if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for those of you who have been watching each week, giving your feedback, your thumbs up and also participating in the discussion that is going on, please continue to share your thoughts in the comment section. I am very much aware that there are educators who you may be watching and you may not want to comment or to leave a thumbs up. That's fine. On this screen, you will see information relevant that you can utilize my Facebook account, Instagram account, WhatsApp number, direct call number that you can also use to reach out to me to ask questions and I will be willing to provide you with answers. See you next week, Thursday, when we go live 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. WhatsApp your questions, WhatsApp your, 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 your feedback, post your message or your questions in the Facebook messenger or Instagram direct message or call directly. That's no problem. So see you next week, Thursday, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. when we do this live. And also see you on Sunday when we go live for Strategy Sunday, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Walk good. Take care. Remember, you are empowering students for the future. You are influencing them now, not just for right now, but also for the future. Take care. Strategic Educational Consultancy Services on a mission to empower you, educators.